Hi everybody, welcome to Patty's Polish Corner. Today is the YouTubers Weekly Nail Art Stamping Club and hosting this one is Handy Helper. And the theme is zombies. Really cool theme. I love doing these um, nails. Let's take a look at everyone's zombie nails. Mine will be the last one and then I'll show you how I created it. So let's get started. So today I'm going to use clean slate and green matcha and wave gels, base gel and shiny no, no clean top gel. Okay, and the base gel has already been applied and cured and um, you don't remove any sticky layer um, that's, you know, the base gel is sticky. So you're going to leave that layer on there. Seen some videos where they were like removing that sticky layer. Um, in between each application and you don't want to do that because um, that's how the base gel sticks and lasts to each other. Okay, so I've applied black to my thumb, my pinky, and my um, middle finger and the green matcha is going to go on the rest. Green matcha can be on the streakier side, at least this bottle. I know some of their um, polishes recently have gotten more pigmented. Um, so if you buy green matcha now, it might be more pigmented. But I bought this like a long time ago. Um, so it might need about three coats. I'm not sure. That looks actually pretty good for one coat. I might get away with two coats. It looks like green matcha should be good in two coats. Um, yeah, I think so. So I'm gonna put the second coat on. Actually, I'm, try I'm trying to think. <laughs> um, all right, I'm gonna actually use this um, black shredded glitter from Glitter Unique. Um, just kind of decorate it and I kind of want it to be sandwiched in between the layers so I think I'm going to try that right now. Okay it's kind of testing how I'm going to put the glitter on because I've never done this but I mean I've done it once before I don't actually remember but I decided to use these um this silicone tool that I have and there's some glitter right in the cap so that's the perfect amount and I'm just going to pick it up on the bottom and then I'm just going to lightly tap it into the sticky base of the um, of the polish. And if I need just to pick up small amounts, I'll do that with the tip. And I can also, you know, move these larger pieces around a little bit more. Give it a little scattered effect. Actually, I really like this silicone tool. I've never picked up anything. Hmm, I'm going to have to use these more often for pick up stuff like this, like glitter. Because I'm really liking it. And I think that's good enough. So now just to uh, flatten it down, I'm just going to take another one, just kind of push down any glitters that are sticking up down into the tacky layer. Perfect. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put another super thin coat of the green over it just because I want to give it kind of like a... Um, like a crelly look and if you if you like this look um, 
Nine Zero Lacquer makes this exact polish in a regular lacquer. If you if you guys like regular polish better, she makes the exact polish with these shards like this. It's from her smoothie collection. So I would highly recommend purchasing the piece just wants to stick up a little bit. I would highly recommend purchasing that from her. Okay, and next I'm going to put my second coat of Clean Slate. Because that first coat's just a little bit still sheer. Okay, so now I'm just going to cure this and we'll come back. Okay, so now to get these stuck on glitters off, I'll just um, put them on a lint roller and we're good to go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put top coat over everything, um, mainly because these are a little, um, I don't know, they're just chunky. <laughs> So I want to try to smooth this out a little bit before I put my stamping on the top. So I'm just going to do that to everything. And there, this is a uh, no clean top coat, so I don't have to remove any stack, tacky layer before I do my stamping. And this should be a good topper to smooth out these glitters a little bit. Okay, so I'm just gonna finish that up and cure it and come right back. Okay, so everything's top coated and we'll be ready to do our design. I'm going to be using two stamping plates for that today. Um, this one, oh, it's a bundle monster plate. <laughs> H08, um, which I'm sure they don't even make anymore, the round ones. And this is a Bundle Monster plate from their, um, uh, I don't know, Night of Horrors collection or something like that. And this is um, BMS246. And we've got some awesome zombie stuff on there, so I'm really going to be loving that. I'm going to be using my Queen um, Stamper that I got from Walmart because it's nice and sticky and my Bundle Monster Scraper. And I'm going to be using this stamping polish for Twinkle Tea called No Filter and beautiful green. I'm loving this. I hope it covers over the black because I can't remember <laughs> if it does or not. So I'm thinking it should. Otherwise, it wouldn't be of one of my favorite polishes. Okay. So I'm just going to put this over. I'm going to use this image right here with the zombie hands. I'm going to scrape it. Pick it up with my super sticky stamper. And we got a really good image on that. And I'm just going to stamp it on my thumb. Okay, not too bad. I, I, like, I like how it looks. So we're going to go with that. Next, we're going to use this stamping plate, and I'm going to um, peel off the blue cover here. This peels off really easy. And I'm going to use this word right here, zombie. And I'm going to use my Braves Diva polish in the On the Black. Um, she made this just for stamping. Okay, I'm going to hope to get the whole word zombie on, like diagonal across my nail. So wish me luck. Okay, that looks cool. Um, even though it looks like a little, you know, like it's not perfectly picked up, I like that anyway because I think it kind of really goes with the whole zombie theme thing. So I like that. And I'm just going to take that off with a little bit of acetone and a corrector pen. That little mark right there. Okay, so now we're going to attempt to get the second half of the word.
I think that looks pretty good and I'm thinking it might fit yeah I think that looks pretty good I think everybody can get the gist that that is a zombie Okay, now I'm going to take one of these zombie faces. I think I'm going to use this one right here. And I'm going to use my black polish. And that picked up really well. I was having issues adjusting. There we go. Look at that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove all this stuff around it. I'm going to wait until it dries and I'm going to make a decal out of it. So here I just take a tape, just a piece of tape and remove any unwanted stuff. Here. And this should dry relatively quick. I'm just going to leave it for about a minute. Okay, so now I'm going to use this Wet n Wild um, Clear, and I got this at oh, um, the Dollar Store, Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to lightly float it over the top of um, my image right here, and it's just going to protect it um, from when I color it in so that it won't smear the black. Okay, so then we'll just wait for that to dry. Um, if I thought about it, I would have done that first and then did my nails, but that's okay since I put the shiny top coat over it. I'm not going to have any fuzz <laughs> um, from the sticky stuff that's on there. So we'll just wait till that dries and then we'll color it in. Okay, to color in um, my zombie face here, I'm going to use this lighter green color. And I totally, when I picked this color out, did not look at the name of it. You're going to appreciate this. It's actually called Peppermint Zombie. Oh my gosh. When I looked at the name to, you know, tell you guys what the name was, I'm like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. <laughs> All right, so now I'm just going to color in the face with Peppermint Zombie. I'm going to put a little bit on a tin foil so that I can just throw it away when I'm done. I have a little brush here. And you know what? I just think I'm going to do him all this color. I think his eyeballs, everything. I'm not sure how opaque this is going to be once I get it over the black. So I'm also going to put, as soon as this dries, and put some white over it. Oh, I didn't think that he's got black hair. His hair is probably not going to show up. Oh, well. Okay, so he looks pretty cool. That should be pretty cool on there. So we'll wait for that to dry, and then we'll put some white over that just to make him pop. The white I'll be using is the white from the, um, it, it's Snow Ice, the label's wrong, and, uh, see, it's Snow Ice. <laughs> um, so it's, I'm just going to use the regular lacquer from this gel set. Okay, so the stamping polish is dry, so now I'll just add a little bit of this white to the tin foil, and we'll just color it in and all of these these polishes that um the stamping polishes dry pretty quickly so this didn't take very long to do at all okay we'll just wait for that to dry we'll be good to go okay so this is dry and I am just going to stick him right here. Oh, that worked good. <laughs> ah, awesome. Okay. So now it um, looks like there's some little pieces hanging around the edge. So I'm just going to clean up those with acetone. And normally I just use a little cleanup pen here because I have no luck with cleanup 
brushes without flooding my cuticles and making a big huge mess. So a little bit right here we're going to get rid of, hanging off the edge, whoops, sorry about that, there we go, looks good. Okay, now I'm just going to add the final top coat and I'm just going to add it um, to the nails that have the stamped images because the other ones have already been top coated. And then I'm going to cure that. Come back for the final look. Okay, so here is the finished look. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not one of my subscribers, please subscribe. And a special thank you to Handy Helper for coming up with this awesome um, idea <laughs> for the collab. And that's it. Bye for now.